Guys, welcome to another live stream. Uh, so in this live stream, I'm going to be, I've got this brand new Kraton EXB here, look. And I'm going to sort out the diff because the diff seem really loose. And I've seen a few videos of people saying uh, that there's no oil in there. So I'm going to take all the diffs out. I'm going to put some fluids in there. I just had a look on the internet to see what other people have put it in there. And um, I've just watched a uh, RC Dude 81 video. And he puts 50k in the front, 200k in the back, and 20k, no, 200k in the center, and 20k in the rear. So I've got some 300k for the center. I'm going to go a little bit thicker in the center. I like it that way. Uh, and see how we get on. And other than that, it's ready to go. So we're going to take it out for bashing soon. But anyway, guys, for most of you watching, it's going to be a replay, but I am filming it live. So hello, everybody. And um, I've got some comments up here. So if any of you guys have got any questions or you want to chat amongst yourselves, then fire away on there. I can't get them all, but I will try and get some of them. But you guys are more than welcome to chat amongst yourselves. So to start off with, let's ask you guys some questions. Where are you all from? Because donkey there, plug you in. So we've got someone from Quebec, someone from Malaysia. Right, plug you in so we're charging up. Lovely jubbly. So I think we're going to start off with a centre diff. Do that one first. There's somebody from North Carolina, Texas, Washington, Ireland, Maryland, England, USA, Netherlands, all over the place. So what do you guys think of the EXB? What do you reckon of it? First thoughts to me, it looks really good. Give you a little close up there, look. I've got all the, I've got the charger plugged in, so it doesn't stretch that far. Got the ESC in, got the motor in, got the servo in, it's all ready to go. I reckon it looks pretty good. So we're gonna take it out for a good hiding soon. Probably not today though. And see how well it holds up. All right, so I think we're going to start off with a centre diff. Get him out first. Do, 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 do. So are any of you guys tempted to get one? Who wants to get one? All right, so first of all, we've got to get this top this top cage thing off with just a couple of pins we'll get him off of there uh, oh probably get away with just just taking off one side of it that's pretty good all right and then we need to take out a screw for the center brace oh someone says i've got one on order nice Ah, so centre brace is a bit tricky to get to. Uh, I'll have to take that off. So I'll take off one of these mud shields. Someone said, how much was it? I can't remember, dude. I'm a bit crappy remembering prices. Maybe £300, something like that. Someone says, am I getting a felony? Not at the moment, dude. People keep asking me that one, but not yet. It's almost the same as infraction, and I've already got an infraction. Someone said, am I gonna do more nitro stuff? Yeah, why not? Don't know when, though. Kevin says he hasn't got the EXB, but he's got AS. I can do AS on this one. I'll just put a Max 6 ESE in there. We've got a TP motor. Right, let's get this. This thing opened up. So now, four screws on top and the whole diff should come out. So I think I'll do more Rustler videos, yeah. Trouble is I've got over 100 RC cars, so it's a bit difficult to do. You know, whatever car I do, everyone's gonna wanna see something else. Yes, I'm getting the Traxxas Hoss. Please don't overheat your phone again. Wow. Not much I can do about it, really, if it's going to overheat, is there? What can I do? All right, so got that out. And then, 
Someone says, should I get infraction V1 or V2? Well, V2, why would you get the version 1? There's no benefit of getting the version 1, dude. Uh, come on, out you come. Out you come. Right, there we go. He's out. So, well, there's some oil in there, but it's not very thick. Let's whip it open and have a look what's going on in there. So, I think we're going to put this to the side. We're going to get some glovage on. Uh, let's organise myself a little bit. Tools out of the way. Kevin's got the version 2 and all that, nice. Yeah, I can't see any reason why anyone would get the version 1 unless you get a blinding deal on it. Because the version 2 has got a few nice bits on there, like the handbrake and stuff. So that's what I want to do on mine. Off-road adventures, doesn't, doesn't, off adventures doesn't really like the Creighton. That's fair enough. Some people love them, some people not so much. I, I like them. I mean, I've bought three of them. That's my third Creighton 6S. I've got a Creighton 8S. I want to get a Creighton 4S, so yeah, I, I quite like my Creightons. That wasn't the part, by the way, that was a glove. <laughs> right, let's get this, thing, get this thing cracked open. Wheel speed models had stock, someone says. Yes. I got mine yesterday. So I'm guessing all the other hobby stores got theirs yesterday as well, I'm guessing. Right. Oh, we have got stuff in there. There is some stuff in there. You can see those limited slip plates under there. I mean, it's not really a limited slip diff. I mean, a limited slip diff's got plates in there. And, yeah, so I suppose it's not a true limited slip diff, but, yeah, that's what they call it. Uh, looks quite thick in there anyway. I think it's just not that much in there, look. You know what? I'm not in the mood to drain it out, so I'm just going to get something really gloopy and just stick it on top. I've got some 500,000 here, so we just gloop a bit of that on top. Because I'm a cowboy. RC Crazy's got to wait till late November. Oh, that sucks. Where are you from, dude? They never fill these up, someone says. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to get this really gloopy stuff in because I can't be bothered to drain it out. I don't really know what's already in there, but I can't be bothered to drain it. So I'm just going to top it up, put some thicker stuff in there. I don't, I don't like it when the front wheels just balloon up. No, this isn't really working. They said mid-September in Australia. Don't go that thick, says Oliver. Nah, I want it thick. I don't want the front wheels wheel spinning. It's, it's just going to blow tyres off the rims. I don't want to do that. Someone just had the EXB rear diff blow out. Yeah, I've heard about that. I think you need to shim them up. Someone said do more raminator vids. Yeah, there will be more raminator vids. Don't you worry about that, boyo. Uh, come on, out you come. He's so thick, this stuff. He doesn't want to come out of the bottle. Out you come. Get in there. What type of GoPro do you, do you use? Someone says, I use a Hero 7 and a 5 Session. And I've got a Max as well. I quite like thick diffs. I don't like it when diffs are too open. in there like that yeah cram it all in there someone said when's the new motor coming for the raminator i don't know dude still waiting oh, 
I'm just making a right mess. I hate doing diffs. I hate doing shocks and I hate doing diffs. <laughs> So what job do you not like on an RC car? What's your worst job? For me, it's worst job shock, second worst diffs. I don't like making turnbuckles. So what about for you guys? What's the worst RC job? So I said, when's the next vid coming out? I've just put one out actually. So it probably should be on Friday, maybe. All right, I think we're good there now. Cleaning pull to axles on the TRX4, someone said. The diffs. <laughs> gluing tyres on. Oh, yeah, that's a quite a crappy job, yeah. Yeah, I don't like gluing tyres on. Worst is aligning the steering. Oh, I don't find that too bad. I don't, I don't mind adjusting turnbuckles. I just don't like building them. Drywall and shoe glue, someone said. Yeah, that's not the best, is it? That's a bit of a sucky job, yes, I do agree. Right. Don't that back. Oh, I'll put too much in now. Hmm. Don't put too much in. Oh, damn it. Damn it. All right, it's going back together. That's it. Oh no! Ah, we well, might mess with this now. Ah! Oh no! I hate diffs. Hate it. <laughs> what a crappy job! <laughs> Gluing tires is the worst, said Jack. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Would I recommend gearing for the 1200 kV X Max to do backflips? I uh, don't know. I've not really played with that motor much. My new X Max has got that motor in there, so I will know once I've played with it a bit more. At the moment, I've got no idea. What tool set is that? These are Arrow Max tools, but I don't know. I'm not too much of a fan of them, to be honest. Oh, someone says removing tyres. Yeah, that's an awful job, yeah. Do you recommend DB D boots for speed runs? Uh, are they the hones? Do you mean? Yeah, I guess so. Depends how fast you want to go. I think they're good for probably about 140 or something, and they're probably going to explode. I've definitely put too much grease in there because it's oozing out everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a lot tighter though. That's what she said. Removing stripped screws, someone says. Yeah. Emily in the house says, Hi, Kev. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? How can I fix a blue screen virus? I have no idea. Bill Gates doesn't even know how to fix that, but he thinks he can... You know, Bill Gates can't even cure a computer virus. How's he going to cure a real one? 
How fast do I go through the tyres on the infraction? Um, I've put one set on there, but the first set are still not too bad, and they're on the rally car. I'll see you next Tuesday in the house. So I said, where's the Notorious? The Notorious is currently sporting a outcast body and it's just up there. What is wrong with the diffs? Ah, oh, I'm just checking the fluids and topping them up. Nice and stiff, just how we like it. I see next Tuesday, said, have I run it yet? No, not yet. I only opened the box today. Dane says, who hates lockdown? Oh, what lockdown? Don't know what you're talking about. When's the video coming out for the EXB? Well, I filmed the unboxing and I filmed assembling it. So I've still got to take it out and run it. No idea when I'm going to take it out and run it yet. So it will be at some point, but I don't know. Whenever, whenever you guys are asking me anything when, the answer is always the same. I don't know. I can never give you a specific time or a date because I don't want to set myself deadlines. Otherwise, then I've got to meet deadlines and I'm going to get stressed out. And then I won't enjoy YouTube anymore. And YouTube is more of a hobby to me. I mean, it does pay the bills as well, but to me, I treat it more like a hobby first. So I'm not going to set myself deadlines. Well, I've already got deadlines and I'll do my eBay business and all that stuff, so I'm not going to set myself more deadlines for when I'm doing my hobby. Nice cup. Oh, yeah, we should probably change that over. Probably move the cup over there and put the car there. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way a bit. Get the car back into view. Carl says, what was, what was my first RC car? It was a Manta Ray. First hobby grade one, but I had a couple of Nikos before that. Is that Kev's? Yeah, this is Kev's. It was supposed to be for Martin, but Martin didn't want it anymore, so I thought I might as well have it then. <laughs> Should I get Limitless or Infraction? Well, Infraction if you want to hoon it around and drift it. Limitless if you want to do maximum speed. Why is that not going in? We're in. What motor an ESC? I've got a TP motor and a Max 6 ESC. What's the best colour? I like red, personally. The Outcast AS is a disappointment, said Joseph. No, I'm quite happy. I'm happy with mine so far. 12S ESB. <laughs> if you want to do that, I'll happily watch it, but I'll, I'll definitely won't be doing it to mine. I think A test is going to be more than stupid enough. Uh, if you want to crazily aid over get over S it, I would be very happy to watch you do it.
But there comes a point when you make it too fast and it, you just keep blowing tyres off and it keeps wheeling and you can't even use it. And then it'll be a bit of laugh for sort of five minutes and then you just get sick of it. So I'm not going to invest a load of time and money into building something that's like so stupidly overpowered that you can't even use it and I've just done a boo-boo. <laughs> Have you driven a hypercar? No, I haven't. The Lambo is the only supercar I've ever driven, actually. What servo are you using? This is a A07 or AG7 or whatever they are. There's going to be a link to it in the main video when I've made it. Centre diff done. Oh, much better. Yes. Right, and next, let's do the front one. So by the looks of it, we're going to have to remove... Mm, maybe not. Probably just this part of the bumper. Kev, any mods on the new toy yet? Only an RPM rear skid plate. Other than that, it's bone stock. I want to run it bone stock for now, just to see how it gets on. Have you spied Trek Spectrum Servo? Yeah, the, the Creighton and Outcast A test comes with a Spectrum Servo, and I'm not really a fan of that one. Screw back in, just get all the screws back in before we take it fully apart. Someone said, Any video today? Yes, it's already uploaded, dude. It's already up. Paddlesworth Crawler video. Where's that? In. Any thoughts about the Louise tyres? I've heard they're pretty good, but I've never seen them myself. So I would not know. Right. sway bar as well there we go so what I always do is before I take a diff out I always go along and I put a little mark on something so I remember what side the ring gear goes in on some cars it only goes in one way but on some cars it can go in both ways so first of all just check for the mesh yeah, bit of rock there. So we can put a shim on this side of the diff. So we're going to do that in a minute. But I think we want to top it up with some oil first. Uh, yeah, I hope we get a shock off of there. Damn it. Damn it. Joseph says, should you get a Max or a Hoss? I've not seen the Hoss yet, so I couldn't tell you. But my gut feeling is, get the Max.
CME says, I'm these RC cars. Nice. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the hobby, dude. So diff out. And next, I have to open him up. I mean, I've got to put some shims on this side of the diff. So I've got some shims here. I hope they're going to fit over the cup because I don't fancy stripping the whole diff down just to get to the drive cup. Come on, shims, out you come. Out you come, shims. Come on. AGL says, please get a four tech. No, they're a bit small for me, dude. I prefer bigger RCs. I prefer like limitless and infraction sort of size cars. So, ah, so the shim goes over the cup, sits there. I should make it a tighter mesh. Cool, right. I know my, my other Creighton came with shims already on there. This hasn't. Right, anyway, let's crack it open. Some kind of a magic trick. I took out four screws. No, three screws. Three screws. And there's no, I took out four screws and there's only. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Now there's not much in there. Look at that. A little bit in there, but not much. So in the front, I'm going to do what RC Dude says, and he put fifty thousand in the front. But I'm not going to bother draining it out. I'm going to stick it on top. It's only a basher, it doesn't need to be perfect. Someone said, when will I work on the monster truck again? Uh, not sure, dude. I've got to get a new property first, and then I'm probably going to get a second-hand monster truck. And then I'm going to start working on this one. Before, priority was to get the monster truck done. But now, we had lockdown and stuff, I need to get myself my own bit of land. I need my own RC tracks, I need my own land, something like what RC Sparks got. I can still make videos and stuff when there's lockdown going on. So I'm going to use half the monster truck money to get a bigger house with land and a, a unit, like a building on there, like a workshop. And then the other half we're going to get a monster truck. So we're going to get a monster truck done sooner with a bit of luck. And a new place to bash RCs and to play with a monster truck and a new workshop and a new house. And still build a good monster truck but it's just gonna be a little bit later. So I said, what about the Raminator? Yeah, I'll have to get him out again. I mean, it only fits in into the Land Rover and the Land Rover's got no MOT at the moment. So I've got to get the Land Rover MOT'd. I've got to do a little bit of work on it first before I put it through. And then we'll have to take the Raminator again. Everybody having to run the armor. Well, yeah, the diff it does kind of suck a little bit that we've got to do the diff straight away. But I mean, it is a roller, so you got to put your own electrics and everything in it anyway. But yeah, it does suck that you got to do the diff straight off the bat. It would have been nice if the diffs were already done. I'm just going to plonk that in for now, just to see how it sits with the shims. Ah, 
that's such a pain in the ass to get it in. I might as well just put the shafts in with it. I'll see crazies off. See you later. Oh, it's Mr. Claire's Ian in the house. I saw someone mention him, even though I didn't see the man himself. Uh, why is that so hard to get in? Oh, come on, Armour. What is going on? It's like the hole to get the diff in is smaller than the bloody diff. What is the point of that? What shocks do I recommend for the Outcast 4S? I have no idea because I've never changed them, but I think Hot Racing do some. I need to really get some for it. But first, I've got to get this stupid diff in. I don't know why it's so tight. Look, it doesn't fit through the hole. I mean, what the hell? Why would the diff not fit through the hole that it came out of? Oh, it's still got clay on there though. Let's get another shim in there. Ow! You need an armor hammer. Maybe it's backwards. No, it's definitely the right way around. I just know these are really stiff to get in. I don't know why. It's like there's not enough room. You've got to force them in and bend the plastic almost to get them in. I don't know why. Absolutely no idea why it's designed like that, but it is. It is what it is. We don't recommend aluminium arms for the X Max. Definitely not. If you want to bling it up and you want it looking good, yeah, sure, go for it. But if you want to make it strong for bashing, no way. You're just going to completely destroy your bulkheads if you do that. Why is it? Well in. Right, no play now. Good, right, it's not coming out again. If it comes out again, there's probably going to be a way. <laughs> Get a sedge hammer. <laughs> Boom, diff's in. We've still got the real one to do yet. Uh, where's the screws gone? Someone says get Italian 6S, maybe. Maybe one day, we'll see. Lossy Super Rockway, yet? Yeah, maybe, possibly. I do have too many RC cars, really, so I should really slow down. Does anybody know the part number of the shims he's using? I'm using Core RC ones. These ones here, look. But just search for the size. If you search for that size, you can get them from any brand. These particular ones are Core RC. But I think I'm going to do a pack as well. Kosh, I do a pack. Pretty much any shim company. I'll just search for that. Type in that size on eBay and I'm sure something will come up. Armour tough to work on, someone said. Yeah. Not the easiest. It's not too bad, but yeah, they can be a bit of a struggle sometimes. Apparently, they've got better standoffs on here now, so we will see. Wow, well, Kev says he's got too many RC cars. <laughs> Well, when you've got like a hundred, I mean, how many do you need? I mean, people already keep saying when you're getting the slash out, when you're getting the rustle out, when you're getting this out. The trouble is, the more RC cars you get, the less each car comes out. Oh, Ian hates working on armours. 
Yeah, Ian's not really an armor fan, really. So, Ian, what's your favorite RC car brand? When I first met Ian, he didn't like Traxxas, and then he got an X Max, and, and I think he likes them now. <laughs> Kev, what does slow mode do? Uh, slow mode do? It means you can only comment once every 30 seconds. Basically, it stops everybody copy and pasting, ruining the whole stream. And since I've been using it, I've not had to block anybody, so it's been perfect. Thomas is morning from California. Morning, dude. Afternoon for me. Right, so that's back on. All we've got to do now is pop back on the sway bar. Then we do the rear diff. Then we're done. No, it hasn't actually taken too long. Can we even get in here? Why is it, why is it so hard to get on? Oh, I can't get in there to get the sway bar back on. These things are a bit of a bitch to work on, I must admit. Yeah. All right, boom, on. Time to get rage a bit. Ha <laughs> ha maybe. Maybe. Good afternoon from Connecticut. Yes, RC Yard. I've got the I've got the EXB. Slow down, trying too hard, someone said. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't really got that much time. We're gonna go out soon and have a little play. Vinny's going to come over, we're going to get a helicopter out, we're going to maybe get this out if we get it done, we're going to get my new X-Max out, and Vinny's going to get, what's he going to get out, I don't know yet, I think he's going to get his Outcast 4S out. So you never know, we might do a little live stream later, who knows, we'll see. Right. Yeah, rear one, and then we're going to be good. Shocks off. Kev, are you ever going to get a Revo 3.3? Who knows? Maybe. I prefer getting new releases, really, to be honest. But if there's no new releases that I fancy, and maybe I will one day get one. Who knows? No plans at the moment, no. At the moment, I, have, I haven't actually got any plans for any more RC cars. But that can change tomorrow. I might watch a video on YouTube and I think, you know what, that looks really cool. I'm going to get it. <laughs> I think the next RC I'm going to get is probably going to be a Goblin helicopter. Am I going to get the new 3S armour? Probably not. I may get the forest crater though, possibly. Tractor Summit, if they come out with a new one, I'm holding out for the 2.0. I mean, they might not do one, who knows, but that's kind of what I'm holding out for. Fluid in diff. So I watched dude, RC dude, I watched his video and he puts 50k front, 20k rear, and 200k center. But I'll put 300k in the center. Well, 
No, actually, I put some syrup in there. I put half a million in the centre, but I mixed it in with what was already in there, so God knows what it is. Joe just donated £1.99. Kev in the house, hope you're having a good day. Yes, I am, dude. Thank you very much. But, as always, if you want to donate, there's a link to my favourite charity down below. Donate to those instead. Pleasey wheezy lemon squeezy. Ah, I can see now why it's hard to get the different look. It's actually hitting on the cup. So if you turn the cup round. Yeah, comes out a lot easier. Ah, so I've learned something. But before we take it out, let's have a little feel. Oh yeah, that definitely needs maybe three shims in that side. Oh, there's almost nothing in there. Kev, please build an Airwolf heli. Oh, I'm not into scale helis. I prefer the 3D helicopters, so uh, I doubt it. Not anytime soon. Someone said about these stripping. Someone said about these stripping gears. And they had to put more shims in, but I don't really know where, where do people shim it? Where do you shim it? Hmm. I mean, that shim is pretty much tight up against that, so it doesn't look like we can get more shims in there. No idea. Hi from Poland. More shims for the rear. Yeah, all right, cool. Right, so in the rear we're gonna put 20K. I'm not gonna bother draining it out, I'm just gonna add some on top. Yeah, that'll do. Yes, spur gear side, someone says, yeah, I know, it's, it's to force it up against the pinion a little bit. I will definitely do that. But I thought people shim the inside of these diffs as well, but it doesn't look like you can really get anything on there. So. Hello from Hawaii. Hello, dude. Oh, you're not shimming the first pin, you're shimming, shimming the sun gear. Okay, well, I heard people saying, I heard them saying that they were doing the internals in. So I, I was under the impression they were, sh they were shimming the internal. Someone says do 50k in front and 50k rear and 100k front. Too late, I'll put it in now, dude. For me, it's, it's mainly the centre diff that I like tight. When it comes to the front and the rear ones, I'm not really that fast. Outside between bearing and diff. Yeah, all right, dude. Cool. Well, that's, what, that's what I did on the front one. The LSD plates push the sun gear to put towards the planet trees. All right. All right, and then I'm going to put three shims on this side. I'll put two on the front. I'm going to start off with three. That's two there. Another one there. And then we're going to see how well it fits.
Yeah, that's nice and tight, that'll do. That'll do. Maybe two would be better, might be too tight. I don't know, I'd rather have it a bit too tight and not strip diffs. Yeah, that'll do. I forgot to put grease in the front one actually, so I suppose I should probably put some in the back one. <laughs> Does the Turnergy Rapid 4S fit the max battery tray? I've not tried, but I think it probably would. I can't see why not. Hopefully the lid's going to go back on fairly easily. Boom! We're on. This was a little bit of a pig, but not too much of a pig. Where do you get the shims from, said Justin? These are core RC. But if you just type that size there into eBay, see that? Type that size into eBay and you'll find them. I might do some as well, but no idea what the part number is. Garrett's from San Francisco, hello. Someone said what happened. Bang good cameras that I use. No, there isn't actually. I use my S9 at the moment and GoPro cameras. I've got a Canon 70D, but it's a bit big and bulky, really. But I, sh I keep I keep saying to myself that I'm going to get myself a better camera, get a big camera. But then when you're out bashing, if the camera's big and bulky, it's going to be, be more difficult to get footage. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Go in. Oh. Damn it. <sighs> uh, just when I said it went together quite easy. Pig! Oh, now I'm losing screws. All right, rage loading. The rage is loading, guys. Right, four screws there. It's not really popped in in place properly this side. Then when you've got to get shims in there at the same time, it can get a bit tricky. All right, we're in, we're in. Luckily for me, no rage. Maybe unlucky for you. <laughs> you can shim under the sun gear behind the planetary. Really? It didn't look like there's much space there. It looked like it was pretty tight to start with. Now, that is what it is. If it blows, it blows. We'll have to fix it, won't we? Oh, are you going to go in there or not? Always oh, rage with armour, said Justin. <laughs> Where is my ball, Allen key driver? Uh, uh, where's he gone? Up there. One in. Kev, shimming before first run. Yes, I am. I've heard a lot of people saying that diffs exploded, so I thought I might as well just shimmer while we're at it and put some more grease in there because there wasn't much in there to start with. 
Someone says Crichton 6S or Traxxas Max. Ah, oh, they're different really. Stock, I would say the Max probably. If you're going to modify it, I would choose... Mm, I don't know, it's a tough one then, modified. I mean, the, the diff this one's going to be faster and more stable. Mini Max, though, that's like a skate park weapon. I don't know, they're both cool. When's the new X Max coming? Well, it's already there, it's down there. I filmed the unboxing. And there will be more videos of that fairly soonish. What, what upgrades have you planned for the TRX6, said Jason? Um, just probably a Hobby Wing X. Probably a better servo. And that'll probably be about it. Kev, is there a lot of people that drive RCs in your area? Kind of. No, not masses. There's more skaters, but there's a few. X Max or Creighton AS at Off Road Adventures. Personally, for me, X Max, it's more durable, it's more versatile. Parts are cheaper, parts are easier to get hold of. Uh, well, maybe not so much now, actually. Parts for both are quite easy to get hold of, actually. Easier to fix. So, for me, the X-Max. On well, the Creighton, it jumps higher, it jumps further. It's better on a racetrack. So, they're both good, but for me, it's still X-Max. Do you like Red Cat? Never had one. Do you run thicker shock oil in your X-Max? No, it's stock. What is your favourite RC car? Every, uh, my favourite, best all-round RC car, X-Max. If I could only have one RC car, it would probably be, yeah, definitely be the X-Max. But the one that's like the coolest, it's, it's got to be the Raminator. Like when I'm playing with that, it's just so much fun. So Raminator is my favourite, but if I could only have one, it'd be the X-Max, because you can't really use the Raminator every day. It's too big and bulky and unpractical. How long to get stuff from Banggood? Sometimes it can be like a week. Sometimes it can be a couple of months. All right, let's get this back on. Let me turn around and come off like that. Boom. What do you think of the lossy laser nut? Uh, yeah, it looks alright. It's a bit small for my liking, really, but it looks alright. I haven't really got in, gotten into lossies yet at the moment. You know, at the moment, I'm just sort of I'm a bit of an armo and a Traxxas fan at the moment. But yeah, I should get some lossies, really, shouldn't I? Well, variety is good. Right, we're done guys. We are done for this live stream. I have got a little bit more wrenching to do on some other stuff, but I've not got time today because I've got to, we've got to go out soon. We're gonna do a bit of bashing. So um I think for now guys we're gonna call it it for this video. I might do another live stream tomorrow, we'll see how we get on. Are you still planning and putting an ATCC engine in the Raminator? Yes, I am. Ugh. How do you make your own stand for the RC transmitters? It's basically a selfie stick end. 
and then I'll just hot glue it on, look. That's all it is, look at that mess. <laughs> the rock is, is amazing, says Dirt. Yeah, it looks really good. You should unbox the Red Cat RC, maybe one day, if they want to send me one. I think the armors and the Traxxas are higher quality RCs, and you know, with them two companies, I can pretty much fulfill all of my RC needs for the most part. Are you getting Hoss? Yes, there's a lot of the same questions coming through. I do try and concentrate on more of the newer questions. So guys, what's your favorite RC car? What is your, what is your favorite RC car or your dream RC car? You can have any RC car, only one, only one RC car, what would it be? X-Max, Armour, T-Max. X-Max, MST, Creighton, Rustler 4x4, Raminator. Yeah, if you could only have one RC car for the rest of your life, only one RC, what would it be? X-Max, Lossy 5T, HBI Ninja, never heard of that actually, UDR, EXB, X-Max, Slash, Summit, Piper 7, Brushless, X-Max, Raminator, X-Max, My X-Max, <laughs> UDR, XO1, X-Max 100%, EXB or EVO 2.0, ooh, I don't know, I've not used it yet, but before... The old Creighton versus the E-Revo, I would go with the E-Revo stock and I would have gone with a Creighton modified. But now this Creighton comes with a lot of upgrades already on it. So I will know once I've run it. I don't know yet. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to prefer the armour. I'm thinking. I don't know yet though. So this is a lossy LST2. Dirt says he's got a Revo and it doesn't hold up. Yeah, I've, I've got mixed feelings with mine. I mean, I've taken it to the skate park and give it an, I've given it an absolute hiding and it just took it, nothing broke. I've took it out a few times and just gone flat out with it everywhere. Hit the biggest jumps and nothing broke. And other times, the silly little things break, so. Like, the, the, the worst thing was the two steering servos, but I sorted that out, I put a single servo in there, like an EcoBoost, and then the, the, thing, oh, the thing that I really hate about it is the rear tow links. So, if they made an eliminator kit to get rid of those rear tow links, then it would be a kick-ass car, but I'll get so many problems, every time I take it out, then rear links just pop off, and they bend, and they stretch, and they, they break, it's like, ah. Oh. What's more durable, Max or Creighton XB? I'm guessing it's going to be quite quite similar. I'm guessing. I don't know yet. I've not really used this yet, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be similar. Kev's Raminator, someone says. Oh yeah, that diff's much thicker now. Yeah, especially the centre one. The centre one's really stiffened up. <laughs> right, guys, that's going to be it for this video.